Welcome to Real Estate Market Storytellers. I'm your host, David Stark. What makes a great story? Great characters. The characters that usually get the most attention in real estate stories are the number of homes for sale and sales prices. In this episode of Real Estate Market Storytellers, let's focus on an important supporting character that really brings the real estate story to life. Days on Market describes how long a home is listed for sale before a purchase offer is accepted. Let's go behind the scenes for a second. How does Bay East calculate Days on Market? Like other market characteristics, we look at Days on Market for each community in the East Bay. We also do a separate count for single family detached and attached units. The monthly average Days on Market that end up in our monthly reports is the average number of days a home is listed for sale on the MLS until it was marked pending. I like tracking this character because it tells several stories. First, it's an insight into buyer behavior. Example, in a market where sales prices are increasing but the days on market are low, that says buyers are willing to pay those prices and make offers quickly. We saw exactly those conditions up until earlier this year. For sellers, it's great for managing expectations. Example, days on market can vary significantly from city to city and from season to season. A home may be on the market longer depending on where it's located and what time of year it was put on the market. Days on market can also help predict where sales prices may be heading. Longer days on market says that buyers are taking more time. That extra time, especially in areas where homes have been selling quickly, could nudge sellers into rethinking their sales price. So, where do you learn about days on market? It's included in the Housing Market Reports Bay East releases each month. It's here in the Market Activity Summary. You can see how days on market has increased or decreased during the last 13 months in this column in the Monthly Market Activity Table. To go back further, check this column in the Market Trends table. To find the Housing Market Report for your community, visit www.bayeast.org, then scroll down to the Housing Statistics button. As always, if you'd like help telling your real estate story, contact me at davids at bayeast.org. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Real Estate Market Storytellers.